In this video, I'm going to teach you how to enable NetGraph in CS2. It's a very quick and easy process, so make sure to follow along. First, before I talk about NetGraph and how to enable it for Counter-Strike 2, I do want to make it very clear that the original NetGraph command was removed and it still isn't available in CS2. As you might be aware, ever since the launch of CS2, NetGraph was never available and during the time that I'm recording this video, it still isn't available. So we have to look into alternatives to use while in game. So for this video, that is what I'm going to do. I want to present the best NetGraph alternatives for the viewers. So the first command that I recommend is inside of the console, you can type CL show FPS and then one. The first thing that you will notice is that upon enabling show FPS, we only get a basic information regarding the frames per second on any map. So if you change it from one to two, you will notice that now there are even more commands and information running around the screen. If you type it all the way up to three, you can see everything related to the server ticks and other options, which I don't know too much about to make it clear. So this is one of the alternatives that you can use, but it is very intrusive and it is usually going to be located at the left side of the screen. Now it is a pretty long line of text, so keep that in mind. The next option that you have to enable and see stuff similar to NetGraph in CS2 is CQ NetGraph. So instead of the usual NetGraph, just place CQ before it. And if you put this command to one, at the top right corner of the screen, you are going to see these two lines, green and red. Those lines indicate how your connection to the server is. And usually the green line should be present with a lot of green blocks. Unfortunately, since I'm recording this video on an offline server, there is no change to the network, but that is what you should see. Look for the green colors. And if you see too much red blocks flying by, that indicates a bad or weak connection with the server. Now, like I said in the beginning, it is extremely unfortunate to have Valve removed a thing that fans liked a lot, but as of today, this is the only options that we have to replace NetGraph in CS2. I hope I was able to help you on how to enable NetGraph in CS2. If this video helped you, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more quick and easy tips. Thank you for watching.